And one point in time, Google Ads did have message extensions. Yes, I said extensions because it's old. Well, that went away, but now, a couple weeks ago, it was brought back in the form of message assets with the help of WhatsApp. So in this video, we will show you what type of account you will need in WhatsApp in order to use this new asset. Then we'll show you how to set it up within Google Ads and attach it to some of your campaigns. I know we're not starting out in Google Ads, but it makes sense to start here. And that is WhatsApp for Business. The URL is business.whatsapp.com. And you have to have an account created here before you can start attaching it with your assets. You may have a personal WhatsApp account, but that will not work. It has to be a business account. So here's where you can go to get started, fill out the form, and hopefully someone will get in touch with you. I know it could be a little bit frustrating. Here's a few hoops we have to jump through. You need the assets to even show up in Google Ads first. Then you have to request to join the business part of WhatsApp. I get it, but it's our only option right now. Besides going to the website, you can register via the app. I have the app already installed on my phone. I did it a long time ago when the process was a lot easier to sign up because I signed up when I was creating the video for WhatsApp ads and Facebook. You can watch that video here. I know it doesn't help too much because I'm already logged in, but if you're downloading the app for the first time, there's a way for you to register if you're logging into the app for the first time. Just search for WhatsApp business in the Google Play or the Apple Store. It's pretty easy to find. But now let's assume you're logged in, everything's good, let's head into Google Ads. Once you're in Google Ads, you need to head to the Assets section. We see it's on the left-hand side and the subcategory of Assets. For us, we're already into the beta, but here's where you will find the specific bubble. If it's not showing up in your account yet, you'll either have to find a Google rep who can get you access or just flat out wait. But since we don't have one, let's create a new one. Like almost all of the assets within Google Ads, you could set them up at three different hierarchies. The first is going to be the account level. This will apply to every single search campaign within the account. Then you have campaign level, which could be quite possible for this asset. We work with a lot of manufacturing clients that service different industries. And in many cases, there are different sales reps for each of the industries. Well, if we're targeting one specific industry, we probably want a sales rep or someone from that division to get the message. In a different campaign, somebody else probably needs to get the message. We've done this tactic with call extensions for a few of our clients too. Same thing applies. If you need to reach different users depending on how your campaigns are broken out, select it at the campaign level. If you're using campaign level message assets, it'll override whatever you have set up at the account level. And then there's the ad group level. If you have message assets set up at the ad group level, it'll take top priority over campaign and account. So the deeper you go, the higher the priority. In our case, we're creating a new one, but as time goes on, if you're testing this out for a while, you have a few different options. You can always select use an existing one if you're building out a new campaign or ad group. Next, we'll add our phone number, and then you have to choose your region. Our account's set up in the United States, so it's already selected for us. A few things here. If you're Android, you're pretty much fine. However, message ads are only eligible to show up in certain countries for iOS. It's still a good amount of countries, so I'm not going to list them all. But if you are using iOS, this is more for who your ads are showing in front of, not necessarily your number. So I'm going to have to blur this out because it is my phone number. And then we can add our starter message. Notice we have 140 characters. We use just over half of it. What's going to get the conversation going? This would be a great item to start testing. Because you'll see after we save this one, we can create multiple assets to test. Phone number testing is going to be difficult. It's either the person you want to go to and whatever phone number you used, you set up within WhatsApp business. However, the startup message, as well as the call to action, are items that you can test and which one is going to have users take more action. And speaking of action, with your call to action, we cannot customize the options. It's a pretty short drop down list. And we see almost all the options here with just none that I'm blocking out. I wish they had something like talk to us, but there's really nothing there. But maybe we can just add it to the description. Now these will show up alongside your responsive search ads. So the ad preview doesn't update too much. Your headlines and descriptions, as well as the URL, will show as normal. And then, since it is an asset, formally ad extension, this will show underneath the rest of your ad content. Any clicks to the headline will send users to whatever you have as your landing page. If a user clicks on the WhatsApp logo or this entire bar underneath, that's when they'll start the WhatsApp conversation. Because of this, Google recommends not mentioning WhatsApp at all within the rest of your ad copy. Don't confuse them and make them think that they can chat by clicking on any other part of your ad. That's not possible. But if you're happy with your options here, we have our one option. You can go up, 
create another one, and that's where you can test like I was talking about earlier. Now, besides just flat out not being in the beta yet, there are a few reasons why you may not be eligible to run this type of asset. The first is that you haven't completed advertiser verification. That is a must in order to use this asset. If you don't know what that is, here's a video that you can watch that'll get you going in the right direction. If you don't have a good history of policy compliance, maybe your account's been suspended a couple times, those sort of things, you may not be able to run message assets. If you're in any sensitive verticals, anything sexual, alcohol, affiliates, healthcare, politics, you pretty much know if you're in that type of industry or not. But if you do fall within any one of those that I mentioned or one similar to it, gambling is another one, you're not going to be able to use message assets either. But now let's look at how to start adding these to a campaign. We'll head back over to campaigns. And of course we want campaign and we're going to create a new one because everything that we did so far was pretty much adding it as an ad extension. And that could be for search or performance max. But when you're creating a campaign, you can choose leads, scroll down. We'll click continue. Scroll down again, let's just pick search. There's an option here that you'll see, select the ways that you'd like to reach your goal. And if you choose messages from your ads, there's a way that you can add the message asset while you're creating the campaign. So you'd have to go through, there's the campaign name. Here we'll wanna focus on conversions. Always turn off display. I'm just trying to get through all this setting stuff as much as possible. I'm gonna click next, I'm gonna skip this. All right, there's a keyword, I know it's broad match. Scrolling all the way down past our other assets, there is more asset types. And here's where we'd wanna start adding our messages. If I open this up, it's showing me that we already have an account level one selected. It's the one I just created, but then Google Ads is freaking out right now, but you will have the capability to create a campaign level message. And then from this perspective, since I'm telling Google I had a leads campaign objective, and I want to try to get as many conversions as possible from messages, that is going to be the prioritization of the goals that Google's going to optimize for based upon my conversion focus bid strategy. Now, speaking of goals, I'm going to open up another tab. I am in goals in the overall summary. Once you've generated one message based conversion, there will be a leads from messages conversion goal set up here at the account level. So then once you go in and create a campaign, the leads from message conversion option will be there for all future setups. I just can't show you now because this is a demo account. We're never going to run it. I'm never going to see a leads from messages conversion in this account. But then once that lead starts showing up and you can let that lead occur from an ad extension as well, you'll be able to go back into other campaigns. Let's just choose one, find one of your search campaigns and click on the gear setting. And then here's the option for conversion goals. Right now it's choosing account default but you'll be able to choose campaign specific, find the leads from message one and add them to any other campaigns where you'd want to include them. So of course that means when we have campaign goals showing up, you'll be able to segment, look at conversions, depending on what category it's selected on or the specific conversion action yourself, you'll be able to segment your goals and find the leads from message conversion goal option, especially from choosing action to see how it's performing in all of the campaigns. Now, if we head back to assets, and in this message one, you'll get basic reporting. Some of the options I have on here right now won't show. So Google says the standard metrics you will get for message asset reporting will be impressions, clicks, cost, click through rate, cost per click, conversions, and view through conversions, as well as any offline tracking. But that pretty much sums up message assets. If you don't have it in your account yet, keep checking back. It is still slowly rolling out, but the first step is just making sure you have a WhatsApp business account so you can even use this asset. Even on top of that, you need to make sure that the person who's managing your WhatsApp account is going to be on top of it and responsive. Because one thing I didn't mention, if we edit this, is that there wasn't any more options, meaning like some of the other ad assets, we can't add a particular ad schedule to this option. It's going to be reliant on the ad schedule you have set up at the campaign level. So because there isn't asset level scheduling options, you're going to have to manage that specifically within your WhatsApp business account. Because if someone's trying to reach you and no one's responding, that's going to make your company or your brand look bad. But if there are any other questions on this updated asset that Google has brought back, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.